Now we continue with the next command. Maybe remove uh, container and how to remove container. Uh, I can type uh, Docker IM. IM mean remove or, or delete the container. So let delete the container by typing Docker uh, IM, Docker IM and container name. So you can use the uh, Docker ID by typing Docker IM. Docker ID, but uh, the Docker is running. So if you want to remove, you must stop or you must use minus F. Minus F mean force. Uh, minus F mean force mean do if the container is running. So you search the Docker PS. My that's A again and no container because it is removed and. Uh, so when you remove container, the database is lost and hard to solve. So we solve by map the container volume to your host volume. Your host volume will be uh, according to the uh, container volume uh, the same. So let map the container volume to your uh, PC volume. And so the volume here is inside your host but it run inside the container or uh, in the container we reference the volume inside the host so two locations are the same or uh, it is only on your PC or on your host uh, so that's V that's V inside this command mean map volume the first parameter of that's V is the volume of uh, inside your host and the second pass is volume inside your container so that's V with host volume and map to the container volume so here the first param uh, the second parameter container volume mean, mean that's var dot rpt and ms sql so, so how to know this it is on the document of container uh, SQL Server container so what is your host volume your host volume is, is your part or your specific part in your hard driver in C driver D driver in a specific folder in your uh, Mac OS folder so let uh, open a new uh, new command line and this is my uh, current directory and you can also use this specific uh, seed absolute part to your host volume uh, maybe I use this folder tab and we type open yes so open this in uh, finder here and then I can uh, see the absolute part of this by typing personal working directory or pwd and you copy this uh, absolute part and set it to be the host volume yes so this is a hot volume so you copy this and paste it here clear and paid yes uh, something wrong because you you miss the dash yeah. let's use the dash copy and paste okay so uh, accept uh, the permission yes uh, it is successful because you see the return type as a container ID now open Finder, uh, open Azure Data Studio, uh, and give it some commands as yes, property, refresh the database, okay. and you create a new database named TestDB, create database TestDB, switch to TestDB, and then create a table named TBL student, and select the, uh, okay. 
the okay insert data into the student and select star from TBL student okay yes so the data has been added to the database so open the volume in uh, your host we see that the new data has been added here so it is a database yes the database every uh, data inside the database has been mapped to a specific folder in your, your PC. So it also mapped to a volume in your PC, in your hard driver, in cloud driver, for example, in Google Driver, okay, etc. Is this okay? Yes, you can map it to a cloud storage. Um, um, it means that you have a specific uh, part, you can add a specific part. And the specific part is mapped to a cloud storage. This is okay. Uh, you type Docker volume ls to see every volume. Uh, this comma is only uh, see your Docker volume with the uh, name, not not the uh, volume inside your uh, absolute part. Absolute part. Okay. So remove this and replace this line by a specific volume name. Yes, we use default volume. The default volume uh, in a default location. So you only add the volume name here. Is this more simple? For example, I type is my volume one. Okay, my volume one. Is this called? Uh, uh, coding convention like here minus is for uppercase re replace to the uppercase so you type docker i am minus force yes uh, to name to stop the specific uh, container and uh, yes clear this terminal so you copy this line and paste it here okay so one container has been added and my volume uh, dash one is created you type a docker ps to see it is running so on okay so i can see the volume here by typing docker volume ls or list ls mean list list docker volume so my volume uh, dash one and you can also inspect Docker volume inspect to see the detailed specification of this volume. Yes, so we can see the volume here, the map point here. But the map point here is a photo inside the container, uh, not the photo in your host. Yeah, it is not uh, the photo up, uh, up uh, inside your host, not host. It is inside the containers. So you can also see in uh, graphic user interface of uh, Docker Desktop. Yes, but uh, I prefer to use Terminal than the UI. So where is this? Where is this? Uh, the specific part in this case here. Yes, here. Here is the specific part up uh, the volume, the default volume of Docker. So the database has been added to here. Okay, remember this part before we start. Because when you want to back up your database, you can copy all file inside this uh, volume, uh, save it to a, a specific uh, a hard driver, and then you create a new container and remount the volume to the database and the data in the database has been restored. Yes, your database will be restored if you save this volume and then you restore from it. You can save this to your hard driver, save to cloud driver, etc. So, this is so my, my volume in, uh, in my PC or in uh, Mac OS. But what about the volume inside your, comp your Windows? 
now we open Windows uh, we have Windows 11 uh, you do the same by copying this code line but you, leave, uh, you can replace the slash by the uh, the, the control yes uh, power yes I can use the power 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 seja yes replace by power power and then copy this this code line and open PowerShell uh, window PowerShell or comma line yes window PowerShell or command line, uh, give it the administrator right, uh, increase the permission, increase the size to see, and paste. Yeah, it just Dr. PS uh, does A to see every container and remove unnecessary container. Yes. We have no uh, container running and paste this code line just to here. Okay. So it unable to see the image, you can download the image locally or download the image to your uh, local hard driver. Yeah, some layer has been pushed uh, asynchronously from uh, this image. You have multiple layer or uh, it is a layer architect. The layer architect allow you to download uh, the image uh, which is separated by layer. So error response because uh, the time is used because we are uh, now inside Windows operating system, not macOS. So you must uh, you you must specify here my volume dash one. So you have to uh, yes use this. Okay, you can use this. Copy this code line again and paste to your window terminal. Yes, paste here. Uh, enter and we have to remove chorus with the use. Okay, the container uh, which this ID has been uh, is running, so you must delete this by Docker I am uh, minus force. Okay remove successfully and then I docker ps again so no running container and then I copy again this and paste to common line okay the return type here is a new container ID so docker ps again so it is a running container uh, the same as here the last uh, short form and a long form of container ID uh, we use the short form is enough or the container name but we copy the container name and uh, docker logs to see the log yes the log so no error we create master database we see the database is created successfully then we can use this container We access uh, the database through the uh, ISO Data Studio by checking the connection from your SQL uh, SQL uh, server uh, from uh, by, by this location. We type uh, the server at the port, uh, the system administrator password, and type connect. You copy the as a password here, remember password and connect. Okay, it is connect successfully and uh, make a connection to uh, the database name uh, test DB. Yes, you copy the, the, the script, the database script here, and then you uh, execute again by the create a new query and run. Uh, every common line step by step. The first is create new database. The second to switch to the uh, specific to this database and then to create a table inside this database and uh, insert one record to the uh, TBL student select start from student. Okay. 
very fast and perfect. So where is the location inside uh, your hard drive? Where is your volume inside Windows operating system? So here in Windows, it is in this folder. How to access this folder? You copy this line and uh, press window R for the run command and paste this to here and press OK. So here it is uh, the, the detailed part of your uh, database. You can use this to save to a secure location, to save to a, a secure, uh, to, to a safe uh, hard driver, and then you remount to the container to restart the data from the database. Yeah. It's quite convenient. It's quite uh, useful when you want to back up your database so now you press docker volume rs so here it is my volume 